With the school year drawing to a close, many of us are thinking about all the coming lazy days in the sun. However, too much time out in the sun can be harmful when the proper precautions are not taken. Hawkeye News crime anchor Roseanne Foster is standing by with tips on how to stay healthy and safe during the summer. Roseanne? Oh, thanks Lexi and Chris. Those summertime means fun with our friends, late nights, and of course, no school. It also means sunburn, dehydration, and heat stroke. And though in our fun we may not wish to think about these issues, it is something we will regret neglecting later. And as the queen of sunburns, trust me, I know. Sunburns are easy to prevent. eMedicineHealth.com recommends using sunscreen with a high SPF number and reapplying it often, wearing wide-brimmed hats and, when possible, long sleeve shirts and long pants. Though many of us know that sunburn is a minor ache in the long run, it still hurts. If you do get sunburned this summer, correct treatment is simply about relief of discomfort. Medications such as aspirin or ibuprofen are useful. Use of aloe-based lotions and cool compresses is also recommended. And of course, if you are sunburned, stay out of the sun. However, in the summer heat in Texas, it is not only sunburns that one must worry about. There is also risk of dehydration, especially when exercising. If you are sunburned, you also run a higher risk of dehydration, particularly if it is a severe burn. Dehydration is when your body eliminates more water and salts than you replace. Symptoms include dry, sticky mouth, sleepiness, thirst, decreased urine output, few or no tears when crying, muscle weakness, headache, and dizziness or lightheadedness. If you experience these symptoms, you are most likely mildly dehydrated, and in order to treat this and prevent further damage, simply increase your fluid intake. Cool water is best. If left untreated, mild dehydration can become severe and results in a medical emergency. If you begin to experience symptoms such as extreme thirst, extreme sleepiness, irritability and confusion, very dry mouth, skin and mucous membranes, lack of sweating, little or no urination and any urine that is produced is dark yellow or amber, sunken eyes, shriveled and dry skin, low blood pressure, rapid heartbeat, fever, vomiting and or delirium or unconsciousness, seek medical help immediately. Like dehydration and sunburn, heat stroke is another summer danger. According to mayoclinic.com, heat stroke is a life-threatening condition that occurs when your body temperature reaches 104 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Heat stroke can be brought on by high environmental temperatures, by strenuous physical activity, or by other conditions that raise your body temperature. Whatever the cause, you'll need immediate medical attention to prevent brain damage, organ failure, or death. Symptoms include high body temperature, hot, dry skin, hyperventilation, rapid heart rate, and pulse, muscle cramps or weakness, and neurological symptoms such as hallucinations, difficulty speaking or understanding others, loss of consciousness, or seizures. If you experience these symptoms, seek medical attention. Your doctor will need to lower your body temperature, and to do this, he or she may immerse you in cold water, use evaporation cooling techniques, pack you with ice and cooling blankets, and will likely provide drugs to prevent shivering as that increases body temperature, making the treatment ineffective. I hope none of us experiences any of these harmful heat-related problems during the summer and instead enjoy the late nights, time with friends, and lazy days. Until the 2009-2010 school year, stay safe, Red Oak. For Hawkeye News, I'm Roseanne Foster.